The 49ers are finding multiple ways to win during this current four game winning streak and today it was the defense leading the way, especially with the offense struggling, only able to find the end zone once. But the D posting its first shutout of the season thanks to a pair of turnovers and two huge stops in the red zone in the second half. Oh, they were unbelievable today. Uh, I thought they had a chance to do well, but they even um, surpassed that. Um, getting inside, I believe, the five twice and um, our D coming up um, with no points on that. You know, them having to go for it, they, they were great. Getting the two turnovers, um, big time day by them. It feels great. You know, that's that's our goal every week is to is to shut them out, right? It's, it's easier said than done. Uh, this one was was really special because the way we had to get it, though, you know, they it's not like they were just behind the 50 yard line all game like they were right there sniffing the goal line multiple times and for guys to stand up like time kind of slows down in those moments where you're looking your teammates in the eyes and like saying like we got to We got to pull this off. You know, these are the ones you remember forever. I feel great uh, defense playing up to our potential and our ability. We did our thing today. You just got to keep keep it up. It just builds our continue to build our confidence as a defense, as a unit. We keep playing like that. I mean, I feel like we can go pretty far. I think it's, you know, it's outstanding, you know, to go out there and shut out a NFL team, uh, guys who are getting paid a lot of money uh, to go and score points. And just what we've been doing over the last couple of weeks, helping our offense, you know, shutting them out second half. And, you know, this game, we just shut them out. So, you know, hopefully, you know, we keep leading on this, uh, feeding on this uh, type of energy and keep playing lights out throughout the season. Uh, you don't get Get many of those, and so it's a it's a special moment for the defense. Uh, you know, as long as offense can put one point up on the board, uh, that's our job on defense to hold them to zero. So uh, great for the guys. I think everybody has a smile on their face after the game. To hold the team to a goose egg in the NFL, that, that ain't easy, especially a couple of the short fields that they had. Uh, but we got a hell of a defense, man. I love playing with those guys. There, there's some dogs out there. When you hold a team to a a, a goose egg, I think it's really really impressive. It's really hard to do in the NFL. There's just so many talented players. Um, on offense, there's so much speed on offense now, especially these days. I mean, especially for our defense, it's four second halves in a row that they've gone scoreless. They're playing at an unreal level right now. I don't think there's really very many people that want to play that defense. Guys are just continually stepping up and making plays. We now bring in our Sean Cunningham to help break down this game, and we have to start talking with the defense. What did you see out there from them? Probably one of the most memorable performances in some time, really. I mean, this is a Saints team that's kind of struggling a little bit, but to come off a short week in Mexico City uh, or under some pretty, desire, pretty dire circumstances for them at times, uh, they put up a performance that people aren't going to forget for a long time. This is a team that's posted four shutouts in the second half, four straight shutouts, rather, in the second half, doing so today with a couple of those huge stops. You had that Nick Bosa sack in the red zone, and then you also had Talanoa Hafunga forcing that turnover at the goal line. This team just found found a way to get it done no matter what the circumstances were it seemed like. Well they do and they can they still don't have Eric Armstead and it's kind of funny Jimmy Garoppolo is just like just wait until they get him back. Uh, hopefully that's next week but in the meantime yeah this you're, we come to expect just great performances from the San Francisco 49ers defense and you know you, it's a new guy every single day in a way but it's still the ones you can hang your hat on. Drain, great Dre Greenlaw is always leading the team in, in tackles it appears and Nick Bose is always going to come away with a sack in a game uh, and then you get like you said the, the fumble recovery they, they force turnovers, and the Niners, you usually, they always talk about put 20 points on the board, the defense will do the job. They didn't have to do that tonight, and again, I didn't even think that the, the offense was really all that bad. They just couldn't put points on the board. Uh, I think they moved the ball pretty well, so I think on the offensive end, there's some things to work on, but overall, you're feeling pretty good. And this is an offense that had been averaging, I think, over 30 points a game during the first three games yeah. of this winning streak. One of the more impl impressive plays that I've seen did come on the offensive side of the ball, and it was down there in that corner of the end zone with Juwan Jennings making that acrobatic catch while he's going down off the tip drill, no less. That touchdown proving to be huge because you said you, you weren't that disappointed with what you saw from them, but they still had a hard time finding the end zone. Yeah, and I think people are going to look at, you know, if you put points allowed, you know, the Saints, you look at the record, the guys were making making reference to it in the locker room, certainly that this defense is better than what the record indicates against the pass, against the run, certainly. But, yeah, Juwan Jennings being a guy, it seems like, like again, an, on the offensive end, you're expecting Christian McCaffrey to dominate you. Even, you know, Elijah Mitchell goes down with an MCL. He might be out a week or two. But with Juwan Jennings, it's a guy you almost don't think about. Everyone's so focused on Kittle, Debo, Brandon Ayuk, who's been so sensational this year. And, yeah, Juwan Jennings can get open and get that ball. And, and Jimmy Garoppolo's like, I don't want to gas him up too much to get his ego too big going into next week. You mentioned it. Niners finding multiple ways to get it done, multiple guys to get it done. And you already talked about it. Elijah Mitchell suffering a potential MCL sprain. Kyle Shanahan, not sure the severity of that. That could keep him out, as you said, a week or two. And Jimmy Garoppolo went down grabbing his knee, never left the game, but a scary moment for the Niners. Fortunately for them, he didn't miss a snap. Kirsten, let's send it back to you.